What's going on you guys? Nick and Jerry with Northwest Open Season here. Today we're going to do some shad fishing and the goal today is to catch a nice shad or maybe a couple and actually try to make some shad tacos. <laughs> so stick around and uh, we'll see if we can catch one. this out. We've got a few nice shad that we've kept and we're bleeding them out. Um, we're gonna take these home. We're actually gonna flay them up. Jerry's got a way that he can flay these up and make them boneless. That's the that's the biggest problem with eating shad. So you don't get a lot of meat left over but yeah shad tacos coming up baby. That's why we keep the bigger ones so there's more meat uh, when we flay them, flay them off the bones there. The real little guys you just get really really skinny little strips. Shatter cleaned, boneless flays, and now we're gonna throw them into a batch of fish tacos. So we got our ingredients here, our usual suspects, and our bag of fish. Got the grill hot and ready. We're gonna heat up some oil and get these things going. Fish in the pan. Shad meat. Should be, should be 100% boneless. But we'll find out. We will find out. Uh, you guys think we're crazy for trying this? Comment we, below. Yeah, leave us a comment. We figure at some point we might run out of salmon and steelhead, so better start finding alternative meat sources. All right, taco seasoning deploy. Covered good, oh, lots yeah. of flavor. Lots of flavor. Taco seasoning on the shad. Mm. 
looking good. So make sure this stuff's all nice and cooked up. Looking good, almost done. Make sure all the worms are cooked through. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fish is done. It's got a nice crispy coating to it. Got some seasoning on it. We're gonna load up some taco shells now. All right, here we go. Nice layer of taco seasoned shad right there. We're gonna get some fixings. Shredded cheese here. Log of sour cream. <laughs> Last but not least, a little hot sauce. Here we go. First reaction? That's good. Is it really? I really like it. I'll do that again. Yeah, that's good. The shad taco. All right, I'm gonna try one too. All right, I'm gonna do the soft taco. How much did you put in there? About like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like mine a little extra meaty. Log of sour cream. Log of sour cream. Oh, it's almost too big. Garbage fish taco, as my wife would say. And? It just tastes like fish taco. Oh yeah. It is, it's good. Mm hmm <laughs> Nice. That actually makes a good taco. That's good to know. All right guys, so there we go. Our first try at doing shad tacos. I do it again. It was yeah. good. It actually turned out really good. It's actually a, like a mild, white, flaky fish that you kind of expect it to be nasty and pungent. Oily and, and, and yeah, yeah. Not it's bad not. at all. The hardest part is flaying them to get the bones out. So we definitely got a lot of work to do on that. Flaying these fish. Took a long time. Jerry did it. He did some research. Uh, There's definitely a technique that you got to get good at. But once you get good at it, I guess it goes a lot faster. So by my last fish, I was I was starting to get it, but that was the last one. So yeah. so we're definitely gonna try it again, you guys. I mean, they're easy to catch. Uh, one piece of advice: if you're gonna try it, keep the big ones. The big ones seem to be easier to flay. Yeah, the little ones you're. They're skinny little strips of fish anyway, and the little ones, it's just harder to get in between the rows of bones. So the bigger, um, what I guess are females, are the easiest to flay that I've found. So definitely, yeah. definitely worth keeping the big ones. All right, so thanks for checking out this video, you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Until then, take care.